Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiara. I have another video for you guys. Today I am talking about my experience at the makeup show that happened in DC on August 3rd and 4th, but I only went for one day, which was the 3rd. And I just wanted to talk about some of the products that I got from the makeup show and my experience that I've had at the makeup show. Um, it was definitely a new experience for me. I've never been to a makeup show of any sort and so this was definitely something good that I wanted to do to just branch out to try different brands and just to kind of get more involved in the beauty industry. So the first company that I am talking about is Emma Jo Beauty. Um, this is a black owned business. She sells all sorts of things. Um, I will give you guys the link to her products um, or to her Instagram page or whatever. And I also bought an eyeshadow palette. Um, it has a couple of glitter colors in there and then the rest are regular shadows. But this is what that palette looks like. It is a very good palette. It is great for people of darker skin tones. Um, I can swatch some of the colors with the glitters. This is what that glitter looks like and it pretty much sticks the minute that you put it on. And it pretty much just sticks together and it has minimal fallout. Um, this is not using any type of primer. It's literally from the palette to my finger to the back of my hand. Her regular shadows are pigmented as well. Again, this is no primer, nothing. Like, I just put that on the back of my hand from the palette. And I was very happy to have found a black owned business because any chance that I get to support a black owned business, I try to do my best to support them when I can. And so this palette was very affordable. I was able to get this palette for $20. I met the owner, Emma Jo, and she is like the sweetest person and she is very nice and her customer service is like on point as well. Check out her brand. She also sells bags, necklaces, sunglasses, all sorts of things, not just makeup. And I received these stack of pigments for free. One of them did open up and fall out in my bag and so I was a little upset about that. There's literally like a little bit left, but it's okay. I still have the other pigments to work with. The next company that I shop with at the makeup show is Crown. Crown is a very well-known brand. The only thing I bought was this um, mixing plate with the spatula and I got this for $6 from them. Yeah, I tried to get a little bit of everything from each company that I like. The next company that I brought products from was Alcone and this is the cute little bag that they gave me each brand. One thing I did love was each brand had their own bag but this is a reusable tote bag from Alcone which is what I love if you guys can see. They are a professional makeup company. I had never heard of them and so when I did stop by their booth and I saw some things that I really enjoyed, I was like, why not give it a shot? Why not give it a try? And so one thing that I was looking to get were these when it comes to me doing other people's makeup or my own makeup. They had these, they had smaller ones, and they also have bigger ones than this. But I got these two sizes right here. Um, mostly so that I don't smudge other people's makeup and they are machine washable which is what I like and so I can reuse them over and over again and make sure I get a good clean out of them. Also what I got from them, um, I got this for free, a little sample of skin primer from Scandinavia and so I haven't used it yet, this is just some things that I bought. Also I bought um, this Lucas Paw Paw ointment. And from my understanding, this can be used for literally anything. You can use it as a lip gloss, you can use it for your cuticles. Also on the back it says you can use it for minor burns, scalds, um, gravel rash cuts, insect, insect bites, splinters, um, rashes, and literally anything. And so it's like a multi-use um, 
it's like a multi-use ointment I guess you can say so I bought that as well um I also got a sample beauty blender brush cleaner from them and it's a solid brush cleaner to keep clean beauty blenders and then another thing that I got for them that I was really excited about buying was these makeup wipes they are pre-packaged individual makeup wipes and this box came with 24 in there and they come packaged like this and I love this because typically when you open a resealable pack of makeup wipes they start to dry out because you can't seal it back like it was originally sealed and so that was one thing that I wanted to really get from them and test out to see how um, how well they take the makeup off so that was everything that I got from Alcon or Alcon and this nice little bag or big bag I should say um, another company that I shopped with was Friends Beauty again a nice little bag to put all of your stuff in and what did I get from this company so from this company I bought brushes and a brush pot palette so I just bought um, a brush for cut creases a couple of liner brushes, um, a crease brush, and a foundation brush. These brushes were so soft, um, especially this foundation brush, which is why I bought it. This brush was, I think it was $6. And this brush right here, when I say this is like the softest Kabuki foundation brush that I have felt so far, this one is a really good brush. You guys can see the brand name um, right here. And this is also a blush palette that I picked up from them. And this is what those colors look like. And it also has a little mirror up there, which is what I like. And this could also be used for eyeshadow as well. Apparently, Friends is a beauty supply store. And they also have a website, friendsbeauty.com, F-R-E-N-D-S where you could buy these products as well. At the makeup show, they did give us um, discounts on the products. This was another black owned company that I like. I died over this palette right here. This is a lipstick palette. And this is from Stony Cosmetics, S-T-O-N-Y Cosmetics. And it has 27 shades of matte lipstick. And it also has a lip balm in there. I did try out one of the colors the other day. And it's really, really good. It comes with a little brush to apply the lipstick. So these are all the lipsticks right here. They are really creamy. You can mix and match these colors. Um, I tried out this color as well as this color. And they are like really pigmented. And also, I went to sleep with this purple one on, and when I woke up the next day, it was still there. And so, they're really good colors. Um, they got a white, blue, um, some nude colors, brown if you want to do a lip liner, or just a brown lip. They also have lip balm in here as well, if you just want to moisturize your lips. But I really enjoyed buying this palette. Definitely for when I'm doing other people's makeup, and... I don't have to carry around 30 tubes of makeup I have this one palette right here and I have all these different colors that I can choose from and a lip balm as well so that was one thing that I really enjoyed and you can create your own color and the packaging is really really nice um, I talked to her a little bit her company beauty by Stony, and it also came in this nice little sleeve too which is what I like as well to keep the palette closed and this was the bag that I got from her. I had some other stuff in there because I was trying to condense everything down. But this is the bag, Beauty by Stony, and her Instagram is Stony Cosmetics. Another thing that I got from her was an eyeshadow palette. I got this palette for ten dollars, and it's a cute little palette. The colors are super pigmented. Again, this is by a black-owned business. This is what that green shade looks like on my finger. And if I just rub it on the back of my hand, this is no primer or anything again. And it's like really, really pigmented. So I was definitely glad that I bought this palette. It was only $10, um, Stony Cosmetics. And this is what the front of it looks like. 
this was definitely worth the buy as well and stony was really sweet too um a lot of the people pretty much all the people i came in contact with at the makeup show were really really nice and nobody was trying to like force you to buy anything which is what i liked as well so it was a really good experience for me and then face wash this is a well-known brand um they definitely sell it at Ulta and I just purchased the lotion I think I got this one for nine dollars and then I purchased the cleansing gel which I got for I think it was twelve dollars if I'm not mistaken so I purchased these two um, this is a well-known brand so I'm not gonna stay on it for too long one last thing that I purchased was this cinema secrets brush cleaner now i did buy this before i bought the smaller bottle with the um cleansing tin from sephora and i think i got it for like 25 dollars or something like that but they had this 32 ounce bottle for 30 dollars at the makeup show so i grabbed this because this is a really really good brush cleaner you can clean your brushes out and they dry like that if you're doing multiple clients and you need a quick fix to clean your brushes this brush cleaner is really really good and it doesn't it does have a little smell to it but other than that this is a really good brush cleaner and it sanitizes your brushes as well so you don't have to worry about that and a little bit goes a long way with this brush cleaner so I would definitely recommend this brush cleaner but I just wanted to show you guys that I got this as well that was everything that I bought at the makeup show um, a little bit more about the makeup show they had different vendors different local people it was in DC but people travel from New Jersey Philadelphia and such and they had models there and they had Jordan Liberty there and um, Michelle Obama former makeup artist and they talked and they had different forums and different demos and everything so it was definitely a good experience if you're trying to get into the, get into the beauty industry something to see um, also different brands to try versus the mainstream brands that are always out there like Urban Decay, Benefit, um, you know different brands like that. They had different brands that I had never heard of and also brands of people who were branching out and starting up their businesses and so that was definitely a good thing that I was glad that I tried. That show was in DC. Um, if you guys want to see more videos of me just reviewing stuff that I bought or talking about different things, leave the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.